Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Sherry. Look, it's Cosmo. Hi sweetie. Everyone meet Cosmo, this is Kaylee's friend. He lives up the road. He's a really nice dog. He comes to visit and play sometimes. Boy, I really hadn't realized it had been so long since I posted a video. And I thought, I better get on with my A-game, I tell ya. Well, this is what's been going on. A lot. Most of it's work. It's not like homestead stuff. It's work stuff. Oh, yucky. But I have been able to work on the fence. This is the front yard. So I've gotten a few of the pillars up. And I got the very last log and the chainsaw pooped out. So I'm just going to try to use this saw right here. Sweet mail, let me use it. Isn't that awesome? And I moved my fairy lights to the front. It's so pretty at night. That log was too long and I just didn't uh not too long, it was too thick. It wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It was thicker than the other ones. So I just removed it. I will get it moved and get this one sawed and put it in place and then fill it up with rock. And I can honestly say this project will be checked off the list. Yay. That's pretty awesome. Firewood, firewood, and more firewood. Kaylee, I sure wish that you were able to chop firewood. She's been doing amazing, amazing. I, I've just, I am so blessed to have Kaylee as my friend. She is very, very social. She has learned so much. You know, she hasn't had a chance to go out onto Melvin Bell's channel to go exploring, but you know, he's been really super busy. I don't know if a lot of you follow him on Instagram or Facebook, but he had posted a picture of a spider. He was out here working yesterday afternoon and saw the spider and uh, yeah, it's really cool. So you should go on over to Facebook or Instagram, check out Malvin Bell, Harley Davidson, and you'd be able to see the spider he found on my property. It was like as big as my hand. I ran so fast, I was out of there, gone, gone, just gone. This is Cindy. Say hi, Cindy. Cindy is uh, Melvin's dog, who isn't Melvin's dog. So uh, Cindy hangs around and follows Mal all over the mountain. And when he's not here and at work or somewhere else, she makes her rounds looking for him. And um, she just, she doesn't really be long. So I say he, she's Melvin's dog, but not his dog. Well, technically she is because she, uh, Melvin is her human. So I think that kind of says that's his dog, if you know what I mean. It's a beautiful day on the mountain. You know, I got a call. This just, just makes me so angry. Er, I had gotten a call earlier and had found out that the gentleman who owns the cabin behind me sold it to um, some unsavory characters that already have property on the mountain and I'm just really upset about it. The cabin does not come with the land. The cabin's getting dismantled and erected it somewhere else, I guess. It's just like a lot of willing and dealing for this property. And it kind of upsets me because I really wanted it. But that's okay. It's all good in the hood. You know, I'm all good. I am uh, still thinking about purchasing the lot behind me only so no one else can buy it. I mean, it's not flat. It's kind of like a goalie. It's got like, it's a dip. And it's just, uh, I don't know. I just don't want anyone to purchase it. And yeah. So I really need to decide whether I want to stay debt free or do I go into debt to buy a piece of property, if you know what I mean. I think he's asking, I don't know, 1800 for it. I don't know, 1500 which is really a lot for property out here. So I don't know. You know, it just kind of 
bums me out. Hopefully, maybe it'll go up to auction or one or two years, but I just don't want to take the chance that someone does buy it now, and I'm just, uh, yeah. So I guess if I want to buy it, I better hurry up and buy it, but I just don't have the money to buy it. I don't know. I guess if the good Lord wanted me to have that piece of property, he'd just give it to me, right? <laughs> That's not true. The good Lord will always help you, but you also have to help yourself. And I'm trying. I mean, what else can I do? I'm working like two jobs and working my butt off on his homestead, which I do. I'm not complaining. Please don't think I'm complaining. I really like my homestead. I just wish that one over there was mine. Boy, I'm really finding out. I just have so much work to do. Um, Arky in the Ozarks gave me this beautiful plant. It's doing good. It was in like five different little tiny pots. And I just put in one big one because I wanted those tiny pots. Because I also kind of paid it forward and gave her some oliveras. And I didn't have enough pots. Or pots. But I also wanted to give my friend Jeanette some of the olivera plants as well well everyone that's what's happening here you know i want to say that there's not much happening but there's a lot happening every single day there's something that has to happen here on the homestead and cosmo's not even supposed to be here you big lug you big lug cosmo does have a home Cosmo's home is across the street. See the white building over there? That's Cosmo's home. Um, he comes over to visit with Kaylee, but I don't know. The last time his, he was here, his dad came looking for him. His dad was angry. He basically accused me of wanting to keep Cosmo. He's like, whoa, whoa, dude, back up, back up, buttercup. Yeah, well... He could take his old big old lug of a dog. But, you know, Cosmo's always over here, so I don't think he likes his home. And, you know, he likes hanging out with Kaylee. He hangs out with Kaylee and Cindy, and they just kind of hang out and be dogs. They do what dogs do. Isn't that awesome? Well, everyone, there's my update from the Africa Tiny House. Oh, I tell ya, it's, it's so easy to get discouraged. I know. I tell ya, between me and you 1,300 subscribers, I'm getting a little bit concerned about this winter. I really am. I'm, I, you know, got the front skirted and insulated. I still need to do the other three sides of the underpinning. But at least the top of the little capper got uh, silver coated. You know, I need to get in and get it painted, although the painting doesn't have anything to do with keeping me warm. It just makes it pretty. Yep, and you know, um, the Bell family, the Bell boys, they came over and um, put, top, you know, the topsoil over the big rock. So uh, that problem's been taken care of and I look at it every day and think, geez, that sure would be a good place for a little cabin. A little tiny house. But once again, <clears throat> I gotta do things in stages, I guess. You know, you've gotta do one thing to get this thing done, but to get that thing, you need to do something else. And it's like never ending and it just seems to be a vicious circle sometimes. Yeah, but I'll get it, you know, just, ah. Uh, I almost wish I was, like, bewitched and I can just twinkle my nose and it would just all be done. But then, if I did that, that would be the easy way. And I'm not down for the easy way, obviously. <laughs> it seems like everything's got to just be so hard. But that's okay. Life is good. Right? All things are possible with God. Everything is possible. You know, I think they make a t-shirt like that. That would be pretty awesome. Well, everyone, thank you for joining me on this update. Um, I don't know as far as, like, filming, like, work or anything. 
I really ought to. I think the last one was when the bell boys to, you know, got the dozer and did all of this. And I did get a call today. Well, not a call. Stephanie, um, Stephanie Bell. Her husband is the one that owns all of the equipment, tractors and dozers and front loaders and dump trucks and I don't know. <laughs> and boats and ATVs and all that. But anyway, um, she didn't think it was a problem for me to go and get the dozer and bring it over and do a little bit of more uh, earthwork. I don't, I don't know. I need to get a couple of uh, <clears throat> things at topsoil if I want to start building up the property. But if back there, if you all remember right, the greenhouse is still going up. I still got the plants. As a matter of fact, speaking of the greenhouse, I got the pipe. Finally, I got it like two days ago. Finally, this was the one pipe that was holding up the greenhouse. Can you believe that? Oh, stupid pipe. But it's here. And, uh, you know, just other things, it's always like something else that needs to be done and something else and that needs to be done before this does gets done. But, yeah, I think um, the greenhouse needs to go up because I need to start doing some planting. And I do want to do some winter planting. And I got a bunch of windows and I want to do some cold frames and start things moving. Always something happening on the homestead. Can you believe this is that great big huge uh, pile of logs at the back of my property? Isn't that just amazing? This is what's left. So I guess the plan this weekend is to start chopping it. You know, it's now a manageable pile and uh, get the cans out of there. And, uh, yeah, get this cut up. This is the very back. This is a piece of property that I would really like to buy. As you can see, there is, like, a goalie right there. You know, it, once again, it just uh, guarantees that nobody else will buy it and live behind me. I really need to think about this, you know. <clears throat> Weigh my options whether I want to go back into debt or not. But it's really awesome. I should probably really think about that. Well, ladies, I guess it's one of those other southern goodbyes. I think I tried a long time ago, like five minutes into it, to say goodbye. And, you know, thanks for joining me on this update. Hopefully I will see you sooner than um, it's been. I didn't realize it had been three weeks. You know, working the two jobs and still recovering from COVID, I just don't think that's like a um, good excuse because it's not. Am I even allowed to say the C word? I'm not sure. I, you know, at one time the big C meant cancer and anymore it's the other, uh, yeah. Well, anyway, everyone, thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day and stay beautiful.